Hello and welcome to Unhinged Magi. All right, I'm back. Edwin is still out sick, but something happened out there in the world of flesh and blood, and it's got me confused. And no, I do not hate James. That is far from it. He did create a fantastic game. Have I disagreed with some of the decisions of flesh and blood? Oh, absolutely. I have. And that's true. Right? So, any way you look at it, there are certain decisions that I don't agree with. And when I think I've said them plain before. And one of the most things that gets me confused is, you know, when things don't look right. Like, even yesterday, or day, two days ago, Fable Hunters, Saint, actually said that, and just, you know, sit down and open up an $80 box. Right? Just enjoy it. Because it's fun. It's cheap. But then you have, and he also complained about, uh, actually in that video he gave information about distribution distribution for uh, Channel Fireball and all that kind of stuff. And then I look out here um, on this one. Uh, let me go to the left screen here. Should pop up. Maybe. Someday. I don't know. Why it didn't pop up? Do I turn? Oh, I have to turn my face off. All right, so here we go. There it is. So are we sure that's we're cracking eighty dollars boxes? I mean, it's sold out now. That's that's crazy, right? I mean, you get all six. You get a first edition Tales of Aria. Let me let me scroll down a little bit so you can actually see the contents. So you get one Welcome to Wrath, one box of Arcane Rising, one Crucible Unlimited, one box of Monarch Unlimited. One box of Tales First Edition, one box of Everest First Edition, three hundred nineteen dollars all in, and then you save two hundred fifty six dollars. So, what does that mean? You know, when we saw uh, Amazon dump Dungeons and Dragons and uh, Hunter and the uh, Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow. We all saw that. It was like a really good deal. You can only buy three and that kind of stuff. Well, you know why they did that? Because the product's not selling. They dumped it. But that's Amazon. Sometimes they get returns and sometimes they get stuff and they get backlogged and then they just dump. And that's what they did. They dumped the product. So I look at this. <laughs> right? I mean, look how cheap this is. Just, just one more time. Look at this. I mean, it's crazy. Six boxes, three hundred and nineteen dollars. Sure, Welcome to Wrath might be a sixty dollar box, right? And Arcane Rising, I think, is like seventy nine or something like that. And Crucible Worlds is seventy five. But to put it out like that, that's. I mean, it just, it makes you wonder. You know, I mean, when, when people dump product, either A, they probably just have too much in their warehouse, which might be the case. Or B, it's just not selling. Right? And they need to get it out of there. Or something else that will sell. And it's just, it's, it, I mean, it did sell because it's so cheap. I mean, $256 off. They have Tales of Aria currently $78.99. Uh, save 21 bucks. So, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of surprising when I see price points like that right where they they're just straight baller thing and you you see it right it's crazy it doesn't it doesn't make sense because it's it's so freakishly low i just don't know why they're dumping and i would like clarification as to why they're dumping so that brings me back to the point that 
Tails may be at 500,000 and so may Everfest. When we were talking about that in another video, I was trying to figure out how many players are out there in the world because you can't really find it. Uh, Fable Hunter said it was 200,000. And uh, in July of 21, uh, think of 2021, uh, James said it's 200,000. So you put those two together and you see a 0% growth rate, which I seriously doubt because everyone's saying that Europe is growing like gangbusters. So I want to know how many boxes were printed of Forever Fest. And why, why is Channel Fireball dumping it? Right? I mean, I don't even know how much product they dumped. Maybe they only put three out there. It's just, you see that and you just, I just don't understand. If Flesh and Blood is growing, and Channel Fireball should freaking know if it's growing, then why would they do that? Right? Why would they do that? It's nerve-wracking, because Flesh and Blood is a great game. Flesh and Blood should stand the test of time because it's a great game. If there's 200,000 players, it, it will. Even during uh, low points of anything, as soon as you get that 200,000 player mark, there's always cash coming in. There's always going to be a money grab. So there's if they have a 200,000 player base, there should be no problem for them to ride the waves. Okay, And that's really what you have to do when you stand the test of time. You have to be able to ride the waves. So... I have a feeling they can stand the test of time if they are actually at 200,000 people playing the game. And that means some come out, some come in, but it's always going to be okay. And overall, it should grow up over time. But then I see crap like this, and I'm just like, I don't understand. You know, it's just, it's surprising. Did only Channel Fireball get everything? Is it only in one location in the United States? Is it only at that location? That, I mean, you see that and it's more like, what is going on? You know? But if they have 200,000 players, they will stand to the test of time. He's going to be developing a casual game, which I think will be cool. I like Dungeons and Dragons. I'm very excited about that. That should be a really fun thing to do, right? And if he can actually make it player versus an environment and have it go through the dungeon crawl, that'd be fantastic. Right? And it should increase players of the game. Will it actually increase box sales? It should, but not to a melodramatic effect. I don't think legendaries and first edition boxes are going to go off flying off the shelves just because casual players come in. Casual players are casual. They're not going to go, hey, I need first edition boxes. It's just not something that people would do. That, that, that wouldn't make any sense. So just because players come in doesn't mean first edition boxes go up in price. But then again, you know, Fable Hunters was telling us, Channel Fireball is doing weird stuff. So there you go. Weird stuff. Weird stuff happening. So what do you guys think? I mean, are they dumping it because there's no one buying it? What do you guys think? Are they trying to just increase the player base? I mean, do you think this price point just seems ridiculous? It seems ridiculous to me. I mean, six boxes here. Yes, four of them are unlimited. Two of them are first edition, and this one does have an unlimited version. But that tells you how many Chales of Aria boxes they have if they're dumping it. Or have dumped it. Or did something. I'm assuming James called them and told them to stop doing it. I'm sure this was very successful of a sale. But it's just like... So what do you think is going on? Do you, what do you guys think? I want to know. 
what do you think this price point represents? I don't think it represents a dying game because I haven't heard anybody from Europe saying, oh, we have less people than before and that kind of stuff. I have yet to hear that from anyone. And if that was actually happening, then people would be saying it in the comment section. So I don't think that's actually the case. So I don't know what's happening here. Either A, their warehouse is filled to the brim and they're dumping it for that reason. But even then, I don't know. It's, it's, when you see price points that drop, just like, poof, like that, you know, it's just, it's, it's confusing. You know, they dumped it on eBay, but now they're like, here's this. I mean, if it would be different, if they like did a special announcement or something, and James wanted to do something special like this and said, okay, for a limited time offer, we're going to do this on Channel Fireball. And it's a specific event, right? It's a specific event. James is actually in making the announcement. He's saying, go in there, get it while supplies last, or that kind of stuff. Completely different story than randomly just showing up. Because now it's not a special event. It's a dump. We have to move X product right now. Maybe it's bills. Maybe Channel Fireball has bills they have to pay. I don't know. I mean, testing the market, I guess. But this is the kind of thing that everybody just likes. It's, you should think about. Because it's literally, at this point, not an $80 box. Delvaria, maybe 65? Everest, too? 65? I mean, I don't know. To me, it's, it's extremely confusing when I see these kind of price drops. I wish we could have participated in the purchase. I mean, it's a good price. It's like, it's a no-brainer. They're selling them on TZG Flare. Tales of Aria right now. I can tell you that. Let's see. $92 is their current listing. Uh, let's see. Everfest. Where are you, Everfest? 77.7 uh, .7 is the cheapest. They have it on their website. For uh, seventy eight ninety nine, and the other one seventy nine ninety nine. Everfest is a dollar more. I don't know, man. I don't know. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> I tried to wrap my head around it. I don't know if there's more players or less players based on the numbers I'm seeing. Maybe there's no definitive answer. Maybe it's all just confusing. Maybe James should just tell us what Channel Fireball's doing, but they probably doesn't even know. Maybe Channel Fireball doesn't even know. I mean, sorry, it's Card Shop Live. That's right, Card Shop Live. I don't know. All right. That's it. In a nutshell. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. But no. I, I don't hate James. He's developed a great product. Do I think the other side of the equation wasn't handled too well? Yeah. But, you know, things happen. Let's make People make mistakes. We move forward. He's trying to fix the glitch going down to one box. We'll see what happens with that. Um, and hopefully soon that we'll see the, uh, we'll see the dungeon crawl and that'll be fantastic. All right. Hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment, and I'll talk to you.